Welcome back to my walkthrough for Final Fantasy IX, my friends. During this segment we are going to head towards Ibsen's castle and we're going to advance in the plot of the game quite a little bit. I'm going to remove the running shoes from Vivi because I'm going to have a different party as I step inside Ibsen's castle. The location will be marked on your world map so you can go there automatically. And in Ibsen's castle, there's going to be a few new blue magic skills that Quina can learn. And we should also e equip all of our characters with their weakest weapons, because in Ibsen's castle everything is reversed. So it makes sense that your strongest weapons won't deal any damage at all, or they will deal very little damage to the monsters inside the castle but your weak weapons will deliver a lot of damage. Of course, if you have a, a mage party, essentially, minus Zidane, of course, then you don't need to worry. But I'm going to take Quina, Steiner and Aiko with me. Amarant won't be an option because, as you can see, he wants to go on his own. It doesn't matter which option you pick, he will always go on his own. At this point, unless you sold them for some reason, all of your characters should still have their weakest weapons if you've been following my walkthrough, but you will be able to pick each character's weakest weapon inside the castle. need to do a few changes here. I'm going to give Steiner the running shoes so that he can learn auto waste. That will come in handy. Make sure you give Steiner the broadsword for now. Make sure Zidane has a dagger and you can also give Quina her standard fork. With Vivi or actually with Taiko you don't need to worry at all. Just let her be because since she will be using magic she will be just fine. We're going to give Aiko the Protect Rings, so that she can learn half MP. And you'll also want to have your characters with the Locomotion ability equipped, since there's a monster inside that can stop your party members. But aside from that, we really don't need to worry. The boss that we're going to encounter inside the castle can be defeated very easily. So it won't take long at all. Since Steiner has the alert ability, Zidane doesn't need to have it. And Quina, we can do a few changes here. Let's remove body temp. Give Quina locomotion and millionaire so that we get more Jill or Gil per fight. So everyone has their weakest weapon so we can finally step inside. This won't take long. And 
as you can see you can pick up a dagger on this side and on the other side you'll find the Aquarius Telasio coin which we will need and we're also going to deliver a letter Actually, apparently we'll enter a random battle before we can do that, but like I said, most of the monsters here can teach Quina a new blue magic skill. So this is one of them, Quina can learn Auto Lie. So we're just going to damage this monster, the Cerberus, a little bit. And once its health is below 25%, Quina will be able to eat it. As you can see, with his weakest weapon, Steiner can deliver more damage. Since most of them have the auto-region ability, we really don't need to worry about healing ourselves. Let's strike it again. But I'm pretty sure this will be enough, and there we go. Queen learned auto life. I wasn't quite sure if I had gotten the monster below 25% but we got his health low enough so Queen did it. And we also want to encounter a veteran. Veterans can teach Queen the Doom Blue Magic. So let's get going. I always found Ibsen's castle quite intriguing, since everything is upside down. There's two items that you can pick up on the other side, but we'll get them on our way out. For now let's go straight forward, so that we can battle the boss. First we just need to examine that wall. First we need to examine it. Then we need to push. Now we need to pound. Now we need to think about it, because why not? Now we need to push again. And actually, sorry about that, I didn't mean to pound the wall again. You're actually supposed to push. So push. And that will give us a new option. As you can see Zidane is starting to get mad. Try something that drastic. There we go. And lastly we need to rest. Now let's go ahead and take care of the boss. We just need to take the elevator up. Seems that Amaranth has beaten Zidane in this little race, even though it's going to come back to him. He's too sure of himself and he is going to pay for it.
why Amaranth really likes to be drastic and just be rather dramatic, doesn't he? I'm sure he was ex expecting someone to go after him and say, please don't leave us, but that doesn't happen. So we're going to give Steiner the flame saber here, and we're going to also give the add status ability to Steiner. So make sure you do that. That way Steiner can finish off the boss with a single strike. And the same thing goes for Quina. Quina can finish the boss that we're going to battle by using Mustard Bomb. But you'll want to steal from this boss before you finish it off because this boss has one nice item for us to steal. And it shouldn't take that long, hopefully. Just need to collect the last mirror and try to leave. All the bosses that give a little speech before we actually fight them, they are the ones who are the easier to defeat and this is no exception to the rule, this boss is very simple. First of all we can silence it, so that will prevent it from casting magic on our party members. And that's what we're going to do with Echo right now, we can cast silence. Have Zidane steal, you want to steal everything. We can get a new weapon for Zidane, a very good one. Everything else isn't really that good. You can get an elixir and a pair of mithril claws. And Steiner, we can't have him strike quite yet because if he does, there's a very good chance that he will finish off the boss with a single strike. So Steiner is just going to shield for a while. Shouldn't take too long to steal the other two items. I don't believe Bad Bread can do all that much against it. He can't, but that's okay. I'm literally just killing time here until Zidane steals. It's a shame because this is going to be one of those fights where Zidane enters trance mode, but he won't be able to use it because we need to steal first. Still we already got the new weapon for Zidane and that's what matters. But we can also steal a pair of Mithril Claws like I said. I'm going to try and do it. But if you decide to finish off the fight right now, I don't blame you because you don't need the pair of Mithril Claws at all. There we go, we got it. So we can finish off this fight now, let's have Queen of Past Mustard Bomb, that might not always work, but if that doesn't work then Steiner will just strike it, inflict the hit status and finish off the boss immediately. See, it's over. Just remember you need to have Steiner have the added status ability so that this method works 
but if you don't have Steiner in your party don't worry, just use Queen. Keep using Mustard Bomb and eventually it will work on the boss. Even though it always curls itself up whenever you strike it with a physical attack, it doesn't matter because as you can see it's very simple. Make sure you give Steiner the broadsword once again. And we are ready to step outside, but before we do that we're going to collect a few more treasures. But it's not a big deal at all. First we're going to jump to the right and then to the left. And let's see if we're lucky this time and we get a veteran. Nope, we get a gargoyle instead. And this fight is rather peculiar, we need to strike a Garis first and we need to defeat a Garis first because otherwise it will awaken the gargoyle and the gargoyle will attack but if you finish off a Garis before it essentially revives the, the gargoyle then the gargoyle won't do anything unfortunately I didn't quite manage to do it yet and but it's not a big deal because the gargoyles are actually pretty weak, so we shouldn't have any issues. I might just have to run around for a while until I encounter a veteran. But we'll worry about that after we clear the remaining areas of the castle. At this point there's really no benefit for me to collect these treasures because my treasure rank is already or my treasure hunter rank is already S but you can still get some nice rewards from from some of the treasure chests and I want to show everything so might as well get everything. Don't worry about that treasure chest, we'll get it in just a little bit. that the castle has quite a few traps and we're actually going to fall for one of these traps so that we can reach the treasure it's not a very effective trap is it and now we can climb back up And you'll notice that there's a passage, a new passage open right now. So we're not going to leave, instead we're going to climb up the steps. Those two treasures will only get them once we come back for Amaranth. Instead step inside through here. There's another treasure chest. And we're going to get a special item. Just need to take the lift down. Unlock the power of the sword, and we need to move these pots 
counterclockwise. So let's move this pot here. I'll pick up the other pot. Place it here. And let's get this one again. And that solves this little puzzle. And we'll get the Ancient Aroma. This is an add-on which will allow Odin, whenever you summon Odin, if for some reason he misses his instant death attack, he will still deliver damage to to your enemies, so it will work against bosses, for example. But it's really not a big deal because we probably won't use Odin all that much. And as you may have noticed, I cut out a few random battles here because we were looking for this guy. Took him a while to show up, but here he is, the veteran. And he's going to start with Doom right away but we can learn Doom from him so we're going to have Steiner Strike the Veteran we're going to have Kina use Frog Drop and that should deliver enough damage to have Kina hit it and learn the Doom Blue Magic There we go. So Queen learns Doom and we can get out of the castle now. Like I said, it took me a while to find this guy, but he will eventually appear. And now let's leave. Make sure you give Steiner the Flame Saber once again, or whichever weapon you were using before. And it seems that Amorant is nowhere to be found, so that means that he's still inside the castle. Something bad happened and guess who gets to go and get him back? That's right. Zidane's going on his own. To be honest, he could take the remaining party members, but I guess he has to do this one on his own. We just need to go down the pole and Amaranth will be at the bottom, apparently he fell or something. To be fair, considering he has that huge afro covering his eyes, I'm surprised he can even see anything. No wonder he fell and tripped and might have, he might have broken a leg, I don't know. Honestly, it seems like he's just sleeping. Apparently he didn't need help at all, I mean he's standing, he just seems to be chilling really. A lot of moral lessons here and I guess Emerant has learned his and now we'll be joining the party for good. I guess in this case teamwork does have an advantage over lone wolves like Emerant 
even though like I said Amaranth is just rather dramatic, it's like he likes to make a, to give a show and pretend that he doesn't care, but I think he cares a little bit too much. Anyway, you can climb up the pole and get these two items, you don't need them, but why not? And that's it for Ibsen's castle, my friends, we're going to leave. And that will conclude this segment, in the next segment we're going to visit the four shrines. So I'll see you all later for the next part, take care.